Hello. Hi. This is Lauren. You remember her? We used to make videos together, and then we had a baby, and then she's not in videos so much anymore. It's been a while. But the baby is asleep right now, so we have one hour to work together on a special project, which is? I want a pink, I guess Ozark Trail cup, but Yeti-like cup. I was going to buy one, and Mike was like, why would you buy that? Let's try making one. So we bought a powder coater. We bought paint. We're going to mix the paint. I am so excited. I can't wait to use my cup. We're going to show you what you need to do this in theory, because we don't know. Let's take a look at what we got. First, the powder coater itself. Uh, we got this at Harbor Freight on sale for less than 50 bucks. We had one of like the special coupon days. We'll put, leave a link to this. You can buy it on Amazon as well for a similar price. Then while we were at Harbor Freight, we got the cheap powder coat. We got three different colors. I want mine to be matte black. Lauren wants hers to be pink. So we're gonna try and attempt to mix red and white together. This is something we don't know if it works. I made this little thing. We need a way to cook the powder coat. And to do that, we're going to turn a toaster oven on its side. This, I also don't know if it's going to work. So all these parts were like four bucks uh, total, maybe even three dollars. This is just an electrical box extension. This is a little plate. And I got three of these because once they get coated in powder coat, they're not going to be any good anymore. And then I just made a little wooden block that fits the inside of the cup, covered it in foil because the idea is you want a tight seal around the bottom and it to be grounded. You ground this and then you spray this and it like electrifies the paint and it like sticks to it statically. Then you bake it in your sideways oven, in theory, and then you have a powder coated uh, Ozark Yeti cup. If you're just making one Yeti cup, this probably isn't very cost effective. So we're making five of these things and I kind of wanted a powder coater anyway. So <laughs> this is just a good excuse to get one. This is a little foot switch on the ground. This controls the electricity, which needs to be on, first of all. I read this online that a good way to tell if you're at a good pressure is if when you spray it on your hand, it just barely blows your skin in. See how it kind of moves? That's sweet. I'm gonna put this in our little box. Ready? You need to put the thing in, don't you? Yeah, let's ground it. That's a good point. What have you been doing without me? Turn off our power, take off our ground, touch our tip. I think we did actually pretty darn good. There goes nothing. Do, might want to do this two to one. We'll do two ounces of white, one ounce of red. <laughs> Looks pink. It's flying out though. Where? Where it's not screwed on. Ah! It's pink. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. That's pretty cool. And one thing we failed to celebrate was that the wood didn't catch on fire. <laughs> one thing we failed to celebrate is that the oven actually worked. Yeah. That looks mighty nice. That is like legit professional. The blotch, the blotches are over there though. So we need to watch for that. Yep. Let me turn it so you can see. So now, you know, if you have a blotchy, it's just Which makes sense. Yeah. Well, I could have seen it go either way. See the three little dots mm, right there. Yeah. <gasps> hey. Fish. It's not what we're going for, but it's pretty dang cool. So Mike happened to call a local powder coater to see if he had any hot pink paint that we could buy from him. All right, what was your name? Todd, thanks, my name's Mike, I'll see you in a minute. And not only did he have hot pink paint, but he gave it to us. So Mike just went and picked it up. This is what I was looking for, this is what I want. 
He said that this color works best if you do a white base coat. So we've done that and now it is time for the hot pink. So here goes. This is kind of a great idea if you want to get into this. There are eight powder coating companies just within 10 miles of us. I'm sure if you called around, because they have a ton of colors that they just don't, there's not enough for them to do jobs with anymore. Just a few ounces and it's perfect for someone like us. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I got too close, it zapped it. Interesting. It's not like covering that spot again. My sister has this little box cutter she uses at work that uh, she asked if I could powder coat pink. Well, here are the results. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. One out of 10, what do you think? I give it a 10. A 10? Well, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted a neon pink cup and I got a neon pink cup and I'm super excited. It kind of, I almost wonder if we put it on a little thick. I give it an eight. Well, I give this one a 10. No, this one gets a nine because there's a couple spots around the rim. Surprisingly, our best rim was Lauren's first attempt. That is a very nice edge, Lauren. And this one, I think, turned out the most professional. It's the smoothest. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite color, but it is the smoothest yeah. and, the, and the best job. Maybe it's something to do with mixing the colors, though. That did I think, that. You know what I think it was? I what? think you went slower than I did. Oh. So you put on many thin coats, and I tend to do one thicker coat. Uh, for the edge, I did get a little on the top edge of this one. I just hit it with some uh, 100 grit sandpaper and then followed it up with 400. And you can't tell at all. It's got a nice clean edge. Matte black is awesome. I love the way this came out. Very, very professional. And I will be using this machine with that matte black quite a bit for metal parts in the future. Honestly, for $50, there's no reason not to have this in your shop because any metal part you use, it's so fun. It's so easy. It's so forgiving. Yeah. I, on this one, I messed up twice because the machine wasn't plugged in. <laughs> so all you do if it's not sticking right is you just wipe it or hose it off and then scoop the stuff again. back into the, the cup and do it again. It's very, very forgiving. I would rate this as a beginner DIY type of project. I had fun. I had fun. And I got, I'm just so, I wish you guys knew how excited I was about this. I just want to go wash it and use it now. Why don't we? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. That one is probably pretty similar in color to ours and it's $34 for the 20 ounce. We got the 30 ounce. I say success.